In uh, this video, I'm going to show you how you can customize the uh, notification sound on uh, the iPhone. And if you have ever looked up this kind of tutorial online, it's all going to be the same thing. Like, go to the settings, sounds and haptics, and you can customize uh, the ringtone, text tone, voicemail, and calendar reminder, and that's it. Like, these are literally all the things that they tell you you can customize. Or go to the uh, notifications and scroll to certain apps, but the example is only the calendar, where you can customize uh, the sound, but you cannot do it for other apps. Like, you cannot do it for literally anything else. However, this is the nature of iOS. But there is one thing that people fail to realize. All third-party apps can be customized when it comes to their notification sound, but only within the app. So the developers have to implement it into the app and allow you to change it. So for third-party apps, you're not going to find any sound customization in the settings. You have to find it within the app. Let's take a look at WhatsApp, for example. If you go to this, you can immediately go to the notifications in the settings. So you can see notifications here. Uh, it's actually this one. So you tap on it and you can choose a different settings for the notification. So like a different world. So you can enable the sound here and you can choose from these options. But you cannot do it in the settings of iOS. You can only do it in the settings of WhatsApp. So you can technically change the notification sound of WhatsApp to something else. But it can, it can only be done through the WhatsApp app. So you can see that there are completely different things. For example, you go to the settings of iOS back again, notification and find WhatsApp. It should be somewhere around here. And if you click on it, you can see notifications here are loud and banner style sounds. You can turn on sounds and turn them off, but you cannot change them. This option is available within the WhatsApp notification. So this is where you can find it. And let's take a look at another example. You go to the messenger which is the Facebook's messenger. You go here and you tap on your name and you can see the settings right away. So you can just go here and you can find account settings. It's not here. You have to go to the notifications. So you're going to find it somewhere here, notifications and sounds. You can actually show previews and a text tone. One more thing you can customize. So for example, this is the most popular for the Facebook Messenger, but you can only choose from these. However, you can at least do something. Whereas in the iOS settings, you don't have any option. The same thing goes for Telegram, for example, or other app like this one. So it doesn't really, really matter what it is, but you can go to the settings and notifications and sounds. So again, you can choose a different sound for different things. So you can see private chats and you can choose different sound. You can even upload your your own sound from your files app. So if the developers, if the third party app actually allows you to do it, then you can. If not, you can only go with the basic Apple notification sound. Okay, so this pretty much means that whenever you want to change the sound of notifications and it applies to a third party app, only go inside of that specific app, go to the settings within the app and try to find it there. If it's available there, then you're going to be able to modify it. If not, then sadly, there is no option. I wish it was simpler, just like you have it in Android, for example, where you can change any app sound to anything you want here. You have it like really separated and it kind of, I mean, it just doesn't work the way we would like to, of course. Now, if you have ever wanted to change the alarm sound on your iPhone and you couldn't do it, and you don't like the Apple's clock app, then here are my reasons why I think that the Apple's alarm sucks, and you're gonna find more information there. Thanks a lot for watching. See you later.